Welcome everybody to Gamer Talk Episode 4 We are here at the Endermid Varial Center on the Innator Village server for this edition of Gamer Talk and we have quite the lineup today Starting off with MC Challenger then going to another MC Challenger, then after that going to Game News, and after that heading to Out Now, and we got some fun stuff to talk about in Game News, so that's probably going to be the funnest segment to do We're in Minecraft today, so it's going to be fun. Let's hit it, let's get it going, and welcome to Gamer Talk Episode 4. And, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is the first major event, I guess, of the summer for the channel. It is Gamer Talk live on, uh, a live on, um, scene, uh, I guess. Uh, I don't know how you, they usually, uh, say it in, um, on. Uh, Anyway, it's Gamer Talk live from Enderman Burial Center for the first major event of this summer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And, um, just want to start this out by, um, saying that th this summer's already been insane. We've already gained one subscriber. We've gained a lot of views. It is insane. Uh, we've, I I've actually been having the most fun I've ever had before here, and uh, I think that's all down to you guys making it that way, so, <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here, it's Gamer Talk time, and it's, well, more importantly, a special edition of Gamer Talk, going August, I don't re I can't remember if we will have a special one also. I could check my phone. <laughs> Being that it would be up on my phone. Check. Hmm. Huh. Okay, out of there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, n I need a social media. Go Twitter. Sorry about this. <laughs> Me. Uh, well, us. Go, go down like a month. My dogs are now barking. Great. Good. <laughs> Okay. Nope. Okay, so going August, we will be back at the set. Um, and, uh, it's gonna be fun to be there. We might actually have a new set by then. I just do not know. I just the second week of August, I don't know. So, um, in the army, it's time to get into it. We have first thing first is MC Challenger, the first of 
two, and we got a banger for this time. So let's go to NC Challenger. Okay, so we're at MC Challenger now. It is time for this to happen. Well, the first MC Challenger. Shoot those animals up there. <laughs> I can't go out of the way and do the hard bow one, which is get it a certain distance. That's just me. Um, so then I don't have the big shuffle board here. The sh big board is all like a mile away, <laughs> like three miles away. So, missed. <laughs> Where'd my bow go? Where'd my arrow go? Ah, I was. I'm needing to describe the rules. Okay, so rules of this challenge are clear. You can't step past the sand. You can't step past the first two lines of sand, which is this one and this one. You can't go past those, and if you don't make it in, if you don't, if I don't make it in ten shots, I lose. So let's go. That's one. I missed. That's two. That's that's three. Yes, that's four. I got one. I missed. That's six. Seven! Oh, that came so close to hitting the sheep! This is eight! Nine! Final one, ten! Ah! Oh. Horrible! Absolutely horrible! Got one! Now our logo's riddled with arrows. <laughs> Anyway, it's a shulker box up there. Odd. Okay, that's odd. Um, well, that sucked. Definitely failed that challenge, didn't I? God. Okay, so, moving on to the second MC Okay. Next challenge. It's an Elytra challenge. And this one's difficult. I had to run through this being that I had to make it at least possible. At first it wasn't possible being that you would immediately land on the roof. <laughs> and I get two tries at this. What we have to do is get past this roof without touching it and land on a blue dot at the front of that stage, right there. Is everybody ready? Go F5. And let's do this! Am I gonna get it? Well, I think I can count that. I got it! I did it! Victory! Victory! Yay! I did it! I did it! Woohoo! I did it! Yay! I did it! I did it! Woohoo! I did one! I did one! Yay! Anyway, next segment. That this is a fast gamer talk this time, but I don't know if you guys are gonna. I don't know if you'd like that or not. If you like a shorter one, you like a shorter one. If you like a bigger one, you like a bigger one. So, yeah. Anyway, next segment. Game news. 
Okay, Nader Army, it is time for Gamer Talks Episode 4's Game News Segment. If you're ready for this, I'm just gonna go up here. Being that I feel like I wanna be up in the seats staring at our um setup. Uh, so, the thing I wanted to talk about, well, the main thing I want to talk about, I won't get to yet. Um, first things first, if you didn't hear, oh, it's not raining. That didn't hit, right? No, okay. First thing I want to talk about, it's involving, um, Nintendo. If anyone's heard this. As you know, one of the biggest consoles at the moment that Nintendo has is the Nintendo Switch. Yes. Um, and you all probably have heard it. Nintendo an announced this week, well, a, a couple weeks, uh, last week, the Nintendo Switch Lite. A lighter mobile Nintendo Switch. It looks in amazing. I can't believe they're actually coming out with a lighter Nintendo Switch. I did not think this would happen. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, and, uh... So, that's... That happened, and... Um... To be honest... Here's my uh, 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 overall thoughts about it. I wouldn't get it. I don't have the original. I, I want the original Switch. If I like the original Switch, then maybe I'll get the light. But if I don't get the original, I won't get the light. Basically, easiest way to say it for me, that's the only way I'll get the light. If I like the normal one, when I get it, I will probably get the light. So. But, anyway. Next thing. In a army. As you know. Uh, earlier this, uh, like, last week. Uh, two weeks ago. On Tuesday. We completed the walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, if you all are aware of that. If you want to check out the review, I, the review, I will probably have it be as a card at the end. So if you want to check out the review of the game, it is on Gamer Talk After Hours, which aired uh, last Friday, the Friday of the week. That the last episode aired on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, um, if you want to check that, I'll have that link in the um. I'll have that at the end of the video, and um, if you guys uh do want to um. No, the review, just go watch that, or, or, uh, hear what I have to say on the website. You can go to naderworld.com. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. Going back, before we finish the game, at E3, they unveiled LEGO Star Wars. The Skywalker Saga. Oh my god, it blew me away. And, um... I think it would have blown anyone away. But, uh, it being that it came out of the blue, no one expected it. But, um, yeah, we, um, we didn't expect it. It was something that looked insanely funny with the trailer as Darth Vader cutting Luke's hand off, then taking his hand off and giving it to Luke. And if you didn't know, it's all nine films. I did, um, show the trailer in the LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens review. If you guys want to go check that out, you can. I would definitely recommend it. But if you don't, oh well. And you can watch, you can hear what I say about it. But, um, 
This this is just me kind of rambling on about it. Um, certain things I'd like to see get remade in the game, and I think I wouldn't be the only one with this. Uh, number one, I'd like to see the Giant Walker battle. If you know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of people probably know. It's one of the most insane battles in the entire, uh, um, Star Wars universe. Episode 5, I do believe it happened in, um, and it was on Hoth. All the walkers, all the, um, like, the snow speeders, I do believe that's what they're called. Um, trying to buy enough time so that the, um, rebels can escape. That was such an amazing thing. So many games have tried recreating it, and it is such a cool thing when they do. Being that it's such an iconic, uh, battle. Uh, Disney Infinity, they did it. They kind of did the worst version, in my view. I haven't even played it. I've seen it. But, um... But, yeah, I think that's something that they definitely have to do. They definitely have to do the blowing up the Death Star. That Well, they, I guess they sort of did that in the, uh... uh Lego Star Wars The First Awakens, level 1, I do believe. Uh, they kind of did that, I think. I can't remember, but, um, if, if you didn't know, um, LEGO did release LEGO Star Wars The Complete Sega Episodes 1 through 6, that was quite a while ago, I'm actually playing that game on the channel, if you wanna go check it out, I think I have, like, two episodes out, uh, ep ep well, two episodes live, and, uh, if you wanna go check that out, go check it out, I won't be linking that, but, um, it's going to be interesting seeing them take those levels and make them into... Uh, I'm guessing they're probably going to take those levels. Take those levels and recreate them into a more, um... Well, a more realistic game. Uh, like a game in this day and age. Now... Before this, ep before I started recording this episode, I uh, went to EB Games' uh, website. I saw it on there. <laughs> they have it listed as coming out at um, December thirty first of twenty twenty, saying that you could pre-order it. I doubt that's gonna be the release date. <laughs> they say it's twenty twenty. We don't have a release date yet, <laughs> so uh, we were given one. I. If if we are given one, I'll definitely update you guys, but, yeah, um, anyway, uh, the, um, the game, when I was looking at the, um, game on, uh, EB Games website, uh, I spotted something, I spotted something that kind of surprised me. Um, being that they have pictures from, of the game. Looks, looks very awesome, I will say that. And, there's a Clone Wars ship. If you don't know what that is, I'll, I will probably be breaking this game down soon, being that, that, no, I'm, I've found something that I actually have quite the interest in to make a video like that on. So, um, it's weird, being that the Clone Wars, I guess, are considered a part of the Skywalker Sega. It's nine movies, you know, all nine movies rolled up into one game. So, I think that might be a little wrong. Being that the Clone Wars, like the ship I'm talking about, they weren't really used that much in the first three. I want... So, I wonder if that means they're going to have, uh, the Clone Wars in the, in the game. That would be amazing if they did. I would love that. I, I know I would. Um, 
as Ahsoka Tano would be in it. But, <laughs> uh, I think that would be insane. I would love to see them do that, and, uh, it's gonna be very interesting playing through all nine films. I don't know how many levels that would be. <laughs> but they usually go uh, ten? <laughs> they go ten for each! Oh, God! <laughs> What the hell? How long will that be? Oh, 90. That'd be 90 levels. They're not gonna do that. <laughs> ah, jeez. Yeah, I doubt they're gonna do that, but I don't know what they're gonna do. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, so, episode uh, 9, which will release this December, which... Means it doesn't seem that reasonable for the game to release next uh, December. It doesn't make sense at all. Um, I might reach out to Lego out, out uh, on Twitter. See if see what they say. But um, we'll see. I just don't know. So yeah, that's it for game news of Gamer Talk episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed um my little rant about that game. I hope you're okay with me ranting about it. So, if not, oh well, I don't care. If if so, it's time to head to the next segment, which is a stupid one being that nothing came out. But anyway, next segment. <laughs> okay. Next segment, we're on to the final segment of this episode of Gamer Talk, and it is a banger. It well, not really. It's out now. Nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. I looked. There's nothing that's out now. Literally nothing. <laughs> and um. Well, you could consider Lion King going out into theaters and out now. It went into theaters yesterday, Thursday, and uh, it will be... Yeah, it's a different type of Lion King. It's going to be interesting. So, besides that, nothing on the gaming front. Uh, no, no new games came out. I would know that. I would be jumping all over that. But uh, I didn't find anything. <laughs> so, uh, nothing really for Out Now. So, this uh, Out Now segment was kind of boring. I'm sorry. But anyway. Anywho, got some work to do. And in the army, it's time to move on to the ending of this episode. So, with that in the army, I hope you all have enjoyed episode 4 of Gamer Talk here at Edmund Enderman Burial Center here on the Native Village server. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If not, what? Why the heck not? <laughs> but, um, I hope to see you all in the next video. This is Gamer5 signing off. See you later in Nader Army, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like the video, favorite the video, share the video with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming your way. I hope to see you all in the next episode of Gamer Talk in August. I hope to see you all there. This is Gaminator5 signing off. Stay cool and have fun.